Two roads you can take to get you to Pranbury from uh, Queenbury, and that's uh, this way, uh, which is the scenic route, and go past all these beautiful limestone cliffs. Or you can go the highway, which is maybe only about five or six minutes quicker, but uh, a lot more dangerous than uh, driving around on uh, these type of roads without any, any traffic. stayed here not so long ago it's a beautiful little area for relaxing nothing much here for uh, expats to do uh, apart from sit at the beach go out for dinner and relax uh, but there's nothing wrong with that so that's some of the, my favorite things to do but yeah very nice area to come as you can see the beaches are deserted uh, hardly anyone here it's a Monday but it's a public holiday so um, perhaps uh, it's only early at the moment, perhaps people will start coming down here for the day later. Uh, maybe on an evening uh, or dinner uh, people might come down from uh, their local areas. Same prices have gone up a lot. Um, oh, this is the hotel here that I stayed in last time, Chomtale Hotel, and I stayed here. I think if you look back on my uh, videos, you'll see that I said that the rooms look a bit like faulty towers. Uh, but it was a nice hotel. Uh, but I was going to book again tonight, uh, but uh, I paid 700, I think, last time, and it was up to 1400, so it was double. And uh, look at it it's nothing like the hotel I've just checked out of where I paid 1300 uh, including breakfast this is 14 without breakfast and uh, quite shabby compared to uh, uh, the hotel I just left in uh, Curryburry okay head on onwards and upwards oh, it's slippery here I don't like driving on pebbles on a motorbike it's okay in a car you've got four wheels two wheels you can go underneath you quite quickly
I'm staying tonight. Daily 7.89. Yeah. It's quite nice. They've got these little uh, places just like at um, Almanau with a roof on top. Checking in, yeah. Yeah, check. Yeah, I, I show you. Different. Well, this is a little bit different than uh, Bancrut and uh, Kui Buri. Um, not so up market. Not on the beach. Uh, set back maybe 200 meters from the beach. Uh, a lot of work going on here as well. So uh, I'm not going to be sat in my room much today with all this going on. Looks like they're doing a lot of renovations. They've got a small swimming pool. <laughs> And if you look back at my last video, the swimming pool I was swimming in there doesn't even have any sun lounges or umbrellas, so... Uh, you bet you pay for what you get. Um, I could have stayed where I was, but I had to come and get closer to Wahin because I got the hospital appointment, so I had to head this way. And the place I was normally staying when I'm in Tranbury uh, was, uh, I think, two and a half thousand baht, where this has cost me around about 700 or something. Uh, so I like to try and save my money for other things. I uh, don't like just giving it to hotels. I'm not on holidays. I live here. So uh, um, I've got to really try and conserve my money for other things so I can get out and about and go and have dinners and enjoy my life as well, not just give the money to some uh, big hotel chain. And look, I'm not a mean person. I got a, a comment not so long ago. I did a, a, a video about uh, saving money in Thailand how to save money and uh, I got a comment saying uh, you know th this man will be eating out of dumpsters soon which was a horrible thing to say I'm doing okay for money I've, I'm not poor by any means uh, I'm not rich either but I'm doing fine I just like to uh, save my money I don't like to just give it away to hotels and uh, posh restaurants and uh, so they can drive their big Mercedes uh, from uh, because I've uh, decided to stay their hotel or eat their restaurant. Uh, I don't like giving my money to uh, make somebody else rich. I like my money to stretch. And uh, if I do it that way, I can travel all through Thailand, all through Southeast Asia, all around the world. I've got to make a trip back to Australia soon. Uh, so that money I save on staying in places like this gives me more money for when I need to do other things. The thing is with, with this, I'm not on holidays. Uh, yes, if I go on holiday, I stay in the best hotel and I'll uh, eat in the best restaurants a lot of the time. Uh, but I'm not on holiday. I live in Thailand. This is where I live. And I travel through Thailand doing my YouTube. I don't get money from YouTube, so it's not as if I think, oh, okay, well, I can stay in the best hotel because I'm making X amount of dollars like some YouTubers do. Uh, I don't make a penny from it. It costs me money. Uh, I've got a pay for camera equipment uh, when it breaks down I've got to get it fixed uh, when I stay in a hotel I've got to pay for the hotel but there's no money coming back in it's still just my pension money and investment money and uh, if I was monetized then that would be different I'd probably uh, be staying in the two and a half thousand baht a night hotel that I normally pay one thousand I'd probably think oh it doesn't matter uh, <laughs> I'm making money from YouTube it's a business but it's not it's not a business it's just something I do because I enjoy doing it anyway I'm gonna have a little uh, drive around and uh, come back at two o'clock and check in so this is the room um, all that noise they're redoing all the stairs they're putting new stairs in uh, if you can see over there that's just concrete they're knocking those down and they're putting uh, the tile stairs we're going to have a look upstairs first it's uh, very much the same from the outside anyway apart from the colors as the iraq hotel in um, almanau got this lovely little rooftop thing but the problem with this is is not much point having a rooftop if you don't have uh, a table and chair to sit at uh, all this lovely space and you can't sit anywhere which seems a bit of a shame so yeah it's a, it's it's an, it's for what you pay it's okay but uh, when you think what you get for 1000 baht in Bancrot or just over 1000 baht with a massive swimming pool and breakfast is not that good 
but it's okay. I mean, compared to Western prices, it's brilliant. We'll go downstairs and have a look at the room. Hopefully they'll have a bed and TV and air conditioning, not just like up here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You pay for what you get. I am paying less here than what I paid in uh, Van Crot and Curryburry. Oh, the room's nice, yeah. Very big. Um, air condition, TV, large fridge, and looks like they give you a big bottle of water, not small ones, which is good, it saves on plastic. Plastic's always a bit of a problem. Yeah, no, quite nice, and then you've got your coffee there, two coffee packets and a kettle, and then we've got the bathroom. Bit dated but clean and tidy and uh, got a nice shower so it's got everything I need I'm not a big hotel person where I got to stay in the best hotels all the time uh, you get what you pay for as I say but there's a nice little seating area out there I can make my coffee and sit out there in the morning uh, but nowhere for breakfast uh, I'll have to go into town for breakfast maybe seven I woke up this morning and I decided to change hotels. Found a, another hotel, I looked on uh, Agoda and I found a, a nice hotel only about five minutes drive away from uh, the hotel I stayed in last night. But this seems a little bit nicer and uh, it's only about, uh, I think about 60 baht, a couple of dollars more for the night. So we'll take a drive down there, hopefully it'll be uh, a little bit nicer than the one I stayed in last night. It's on the, the beach and I looked on the map, it's right opposite uh, where the uh, fishing boats come in overnight. Uh, so it's uh, something I'll go and have a look at later as well, I'll go and have a look at the fishing boats. It's got a, uh, a nice swimming pool by the look of it, but I hope it does. I mean, the problem is, is when you book on booking.com or Agoda, Sometimes they're older photos, and when you get to the hotel, it looks nothing like the uh, the advertising did uh, on, on their brochure or on their website. Um, but I'm hoping this uh, one. Look, uh, this is it here. That's the uh, fishing village there. That's where all the boats come in. So it's just down here. It's probably only about a couple of hundred meters down this way. Fingers crossed. When I uh, turn into the driveway, it'll be as nice. Uh, in real life as it was uh, on the internet. Here we are. Oh well, yeah, it looks nice. Looks a little bit better than when I pulled into the hotel uh, yesterday. It's called the uh, Beach Thailand Hotel and uh, I saw a French flag flying over the top of the hotel, so I assume it's owned by a, a French person. So I've checked in and uh, it cost me 750 baht a night for this, which is very good uh, for the standard of the hotel. I had a talk with the owner, uh, yes he is from France, and he's a chef, or an ex-chef just like me and uh, it's 750 plus uh, if I want breakfast it's 200 for breakfast but he tells me that uh, he cooks all his own bread and we get a full breakfast with uh, fresh fruit and eggs and bacon and sausage and ham and toast and coffee and juice so I'll probably go for that tomorrow morning it's only 200 uh, that about eight dollars or something like that uh, for a, a good breakfast it will set me up for the day so we'll go and have a, a little uh, walk up and uh, have a look at the, the room. But it is very nice, very, um, oh, I don't know, I suppose European, I suppose, yeah. Uh, it's very Spanish looking to me a little bit. Um, it's got a, a beautiful pool. It's not massive, but uh, it's, you can see it's well kept. And uh, it's got some beautiful sun lounges around there, uh, unlike... <laughs> Yesterday, I didn't go to the pool yesterday, it looked quite average. But wow, look at this. Uh, look at this room. It's decorated so beautifully. Nice big double bed. It's a very large room. 
and it has a kettle and some coffee and tea for the morning and uh, a few bottles of water there the room also comes with a comfortable lounge suite that you don't often see in hotels and then you've got this beautiful bathroom very modern very clean and uh, Oh, it's uh, a credit to the owner. He's made a beautiful job of uh, renovating this hotel because I don't think it would have been like this when he uh, took over because it's very European. Oh, it's also got a, a fan as well as uh, the air conditioner. So I like a fan. I prefer to keep a fan on at night rather than the air conditioner. And then tomorrow morning I can make my coffee and go and sit down by the pool. We have a little walk outside. Uh, the beach is just across the other side of the road. It's only separating it is the the road from the beach. The beach isn't uh, a sandy beach. It's uh, it's rocks and pebbles, uh, which is a bit different to Thailand. Uh, don't see that very often. But maybe because it's a fishing area, I don't really know why it's like that here. But uh, it could be that it's because it's uh, the fishing boats and they put the rocks there to stop erosion. This area is Pranburi, but it's, uh, it's the Kaukolak area of Pranburi. Uh, Kaukolak uh, means Skull Mountain uh, in Thai. And if you look to your left here, this is uh, the mountain here. And if you go around the other side, there's a lovely beach on the other side of that uh, Korlak beach and a lot of uh, uh, restaurants and eating areas. Uh, you can just see the fishing boats there that have been out all night and just come back in with today's catch. So it's... Uh next morning here in uh, Pramburi I've uh, decided to come down and get breakfast at the hotel I'm not really a big breakfast person uh, unless it's included in the the uh, price of the hotel then I'll always eat it because uh, it comes with the hotel room and I don't like to waste anything me probably comes from my northern her heritage <laughs> We're, we're a bit mean uh, up north of England, uh, we like to get value for our money, but uh, look at this, what a beautiful place to step out of. This is the hotel over here I'm staying at, you see the French flag and the Thai flag. Um, as I said yesterday, uh, the owner, uh, Noah, is uh, from France and uh, I haven't talk to him about it but uh, he must have come over here a few years ago and decided that this is a better life for him than uh, in France and he's an ex-chef the same as me well not an ex-chef he's still cooking but you won't believe the breakfast uh, that uh, he puts on for 200 baht I'm just waiting for the cooked breakfast to come the eggs uh, but look what this comes with for 200 baht uh, it comes with muesli fresh bread which uh, the owner has made himself beautiful nice and warm fresh fruit platter with dragon fruit pineapple watermelon these jams are homemade um, he makes his own jams he makes his own bread I don't know if he grows his own fruit but it comes with a yogurt and here comes my breakfast now oh thank you Noah beautiful look at that Two fried egg, and sausage, ham, bacon, fruit, bread, muesli, jam, yogurt, butter. 200 baht, $8. Can't beat that. And it also comes with coffee. Uh, this is a small espresso, very strong, and a nice orange juice. This uh, pineapple jam here, he makes all his own jams. Uh, this pineapple jam is beautiful. I've never tasted anything like it. It's got um, ginger in it. It's a little bit spicy and I don't, 
I thought when I first tasted that I thought uh, maybe yeah uh, I didn't like it but then I thought wow very nice it's different um, than most of your jams which are just sweet it's just got a little bit of spice but uh, a lot of ginger in it and it's very nice mmm gotta be good if uh, he makes their own bread and their own jams very good chef so I could only manage half that breakfast it was far too big for me I'm sure anyone with a bigger appetite would have no problem uh, but uh, I was struggling there with the bacon and eggs and uh, the bread and I couldn't uh, stop eating the bread it was that good so I managed to eat the bread and the, the uh, fruit and the bacon eggs and sausage but I gave the muesli a miss uh, and I, uh, I couldn't fit that in but anyway uh, if you're coming past this way if you're heading from uh, Bangkok or Wahin heading south or you just fancy a, uh, a little bit of a break from them places uh, fantastic place to come and stop if you're heading back from somewhere like Phuket or Koh Samui and you're driving back to Bangkok to catch your flight uh, set off a day or two earlier and come somewhere like this because uh, it is very beautiful and uh, you really don't want to be driving non-stop from somewhere like Phuket to uh, Bangkok in one go so it's a good place to stop enjoy uh, a night relax for a day have some nice food and uh, then head back uh, to Bangkok so thanks very much for watching if you haven't already done so please subscribe uh, I need uh, more subscribers I need more people to watch these videos as well so if you can tell your friends and families enemies anyone uh, you think might be interested in uh, learning a little bit about Thailand tell them about my channel uh, pass on the link and uh, hopefully um, I'll get some more subscribers to uh, enable me to carry on doing these uh, videos so that's all for now. Cheers, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already done so, please push the subscribe button. If you're thinking of retiring or living in Thailand, take a look at my book, The Retire in Thailand Handbook 2023, the next six years. It's crammed full of information to help you tip to all the logistics of making Thailand your home in retirement. Thanks a lot for watching my channel. So until next time, Stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.